Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben Morgan here, and welcome to this Blender 2.71 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a simple ragdoll man in the Blender physics engine, located directly in the 3D viewport. Whereas before, you'd have to go into the Blender game engine to do something like this, they now have rigid body constraints that allow you to do this directly in the 3D viewport. So, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to have to do is create our body. So to do that, we're just going to be doing some really simple modeling. These are all going to be separate objects that are later going to be parented to one another by uh, by these constraints. So let's press S Y to scale this down on the Y axis. This will be our main body. And then Shift D to duplicate. Let's drag it up, scale it. S Y. This will be the head. You can make your your guy however you would like. You could add even more limbs if you wanted to, but in this case, I'm only going to do a head and two arms and two legs. But for instance, you could have two parted legs, two parted arms, stuff like that. I'm going to go into front view and orthographic view so that I can model this easier. That was 1 and 5 on the numpad. If you don't have a numpad, you can go to view per, you can go to view front and view perspective ortho and I will do just the same. And I'm doing shift D to duplicate. All right, that looks that looks great. All right. So next step is to go ahead and make these all active rigid body objects. So to do that, you select it. And uh, you can actually select, select them all at once. And uh, do add active and change shape convex hull. You want to do convex hull because I found that gives me the best collision types. And we're going to do copy from active. That will give them all the same properties. All right, perfect. Uh, let's just go ahead and name the center cube. Let's go name it to body. That'll make more sense later. So just that, so that we know what it's parent, what everything's being parented to. The other objects you don't really have to name. You can if you want, but I don't. Okay, so now what we do to have these constrained to one another is use constraints. You can see here there's a little connect button. So if we were to right click our head, shift right click our body, and you connect, you can see that this little this little empty was added, okay? And this is what gives us our dynamics. So if you were to right click your empty and go to the physics tab, okay, you can see that it has these options. So we can change the type of the of the constraint, and in this case we want point. That works best, in my opinion, for what we're doing. You can experiment, though, see if you find something you like. And another thing that we have to make sure it is unchecked is disable collisions, because that will enable the head to collide with the body. Okay, If it's enabled, this will just rotate right through the body, and it will look good. OK, so now we're just going to move this empty to a point that makes sense, because the center of this empty is where the pivot it's going to be. So you just have to make sure that it's at a reasonable place. And another thing that we have to do is select your empty, shift right click your um, body and do control P parent to object. It has to be parented to the body or else when we were to, if we were to play this in the, in the timeline, um, the body would fall and the pivot point would not fall with the body. So that would make sense. Okay, so now let's just do that for each of the limbs. So with the right arm selected, we're just going to do constraints connect. Move this pivot somewhere. Let's go into front view. Move this pivot somewhere good. Okay, and change the type to point and disable collisions. 
same thing with the leg. We're going to parent all of them later. Um, constraints connect. Select this guy, make it a point, and unchecked disable collisions. And we're just going to go through and do every one. All right. Okay, so now let's just select all of these new empties all at once by holding Shift and then right clicking them. And then Shift, right click the body, Control P to object so that they're all parented to the body. All right, now let's just double check, make sure these are all point constraints. And yes, they are. And all disable collisions are disabled. Yep. Okay, perfect. So. Now what we're going to do is just test this out by adding in a plane. So Shift A, add mesh plane, S to scale, G, Z to drag it down. And let's just press Alt A and test out. Oh, we got to make this a passive object. Add passive. And it's looking great. <laughs> it falls over and it's perfect. Awesome. OK, so now if we wanted to, we could you know, go ahead and Shift A, add mesh cube. We could have ob other objects collide with it. Whatever you want to do. Um, let's just let's just have these three guys. Add active, change shape, convex hole, copy from active. That's a quick way to set up a lot of different objects is the copy from active option. That'll copy all the rigid body attributes from the active object um, onto your other selected objects. And if you don't know what your active object is, that is the one with the little yellow looking dot instead of the orange looking dots. OK, so if we were to press Alt-A, it kind of falls directly on the cubes. It doesn't really do anything because they're not being collided with that much. But if we were to go like that, you could see that he interacts with them. <laughs> That's kind of funny looking. And so obviously, this is just a lot of fun to mess with. You could have 50 guys fall on top of each other. You could do a crazy simulation. You could make this for a car simulation or any sort of kind of thing. I don't know what you would do with this, but it's just fun. So I wanted to make a little tutorial. Let's duplicate all these guys. <laughs> they're all falling on top of each other so there you go that's a fun little tutorial um that's how to make a little ragdoll man in the physics engine <laughs> my name is ben morgan thank you for watching now a short little addendum to that um <laughs> I, I was messing around with this and uh if you go to the scene settings and you change the gravity uh normally it's set to like negative 9.25 or something like that if you were to turn down the gravity actually and uh, duplicate and you were to duplicate one of your guys and just have a little part of them intersecting okay not all of them just a small part and press alt a they collide and it's kind of like either like zero gravity or like slow motion kind of stuff and it looks pretty cool so uh, you can have some fun with that um, you could yeah do a whole ton of stuff with that so that's how you could kind of do like an astronaut looking guy so just thought I'd show you guys that. Thanks for watching.